In this video, I'll show you how to create low content books that actually sell. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sean and I built a multiple six figure KDP business, which I eventually sold for $820,000. And now I'm building my second KDP account. So in this channel, we try to do things a little differently. I openly share my actual results and the strategies that I take to get these kind of results. I got a whole playlist called KDP income reports that you guys can check it out where I have all of my income reports for the past multiple years that you can go and follow along my journey in. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually publishing still to this day, then make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want a completely free training on how I built a seven figure KDP business, then there is a link in the description, the first one uh, that'll take you to a free training that you guys can take a look. So let's get right into the video on how I publish low content books that actually sell. These are some of the results that I have for my low content books. Um, I don't do a ton of low content. I mainly focus on high content books, but I do do low content uh, here and there. So this book so far has made $381 uh, since I published, making between $50 to $100 a month so far. It's been on the market for maybe a few months. And this book has made $687 so far. It was doing between $70 a month and uh, recently in December, you know, it kind of got a boost. So it made uh, over $350 uh, by the end of December. Now this book uh, has been making between $200 a month or so. And in December it went up a little bit. So overall I have made $1,200 uh, from this book within just a few months. And this book has more of an up and down, but you know, overall it's been making like $200 a month average and in the lifetime of that maybe within five six months i have made two thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars just from this one book and finally we have this book uh, which has been on the market since august so only about four months uh, within the four months i've made close to two thousand uh, dollars by the time i'm filming this it's the end of december so i have made more than two thousand dollars from this book and i am not cherry picking only the good books that's performing well to show you here. Like I said, I don't do a ton of low content books. So most of my low content books perform very similar to this. You know, it does maybe, you know, $50 a month, $100 a month, you know, that's a pretty standard results that I get. So how do I consistently create these low content books that sells? Well, by far the number one most important factor is book covers and the quality of book covers. What most people do because they're learning from different YouTube videos and different YouTuber, you know, publishing gurus where they tell you that you can make these low content books for absolutely free and you can make these covers on Canva for free on yourself when they don't even have the graphic design skills, right? So they believe in that, they just whip up a cheap looking cover, publish it, and it doesn't sell, obviously, because that's not the kind of quality that'll pass on Amazon. Yes, anybody can create a book and publish it on Amazon, but if you put the bare minimum effort because you're so cheap, you don't even wanna spend $5 on Fiverr to create a cover. So you make it on Canva, it looks not that good, and then you publish it and you expect it to sell without doing any marketing. Well, that's not how KDP works. Yes, it's a very beginner friendly, one of the best business models out there, but it's not a get rich quick or get rich as easy as these YouTube videos will tell you, okay? So that's the biggest thing is people cheap out on making the cover you know, on Canva because they don't wanna spend, like they don't wanna invest the money to have some professional do it for them when it's extremely cheap to make these covers uh, by outsourcing, right? So what happens is the cover that they create is not even as good as what's on the market or not even as you know up to par in terms of what kind of quality you should have for your cover. So let me show you some examples here. So if you look up the keyword prayer journal for women, these books are the best selling book uh, on the keyword right now. So this one prayer journal for women, very beautiful cover, right? It's, it's well made for sure. And it's doing really well. It's literally making like a thousand dollars every single day uh, from this one book. Absolutely insane. But anyways, you can see that the cover is very, very professional, right? Now let's look at the other bestseller, kind of similar style. It's like a floral pattern, you know, and the middle is the title text, but it has its own style. And once again, it's very, very beautiful. Now this book is making 
uh, not as much, but very high. So it's you know between five hundred to nine hundred dollars every single day in royalty. So these are the two best sellers on the keyword. Now let's take a look at also prayer journal for women, but this one obviously someone made it on Canva by themselves, right? Just put some floral kind of looking like leaves around a title text in the background, okay? And then same as this one, you can tell that they made it on Fiverr themselves, you know, very um, basic elements, you know, I'm trying not to like really crap on them because obviously maybe they worked really hard, right? So you, you can't blame them, but you know, the fact is it's not as good as what's on the market, okay? So this is mistake number one, right? You really need a high quality cover that you can compete with other books on the market. So if you do not have the graphic design skills, then you want to go and learn it, you know, and go and actually practice. And because you can make these covers on Canva if you know what you're doing. But if you do not, then you really should go and practice and learn more. Maybe, you know, these are practice books for them, right? And maybe they went on and got better and published more books. I don't know. But the point is you have to get better. Or if you don't want to put in the time and effort to learn graphic design, then you can go and outsource it to someone who already does, which will be, you know, someone on Fiverr or Upwork, right? So another thing is if you're going to outsource, you cannot be afraid to invest money for high quality cover because the increased sale will make you back the initial investment so much more. So let's say, you know, a lot of times you can outsource your cover design for five, ten dollars, twenty dollars. Let's say it even costs a hundred dollars. Even if it costs a hundred dollars, might be scary for you to invest a hundred dollars. But let's say that because the cover is much more attractive, you went on and made 50 more extra sales over the lifetime of the book. Since you're making $2 or more per royalty, that's $100, right? So you're actually missing out on sales by not investing in quality cover, quality content, making a quality book in general. Because of the missed out sales that you could have made will cost you way more than how much you invest in that. So if you want to find a cover designer on Fiverr, it's as simple as going to Fiverr and searching something like book cover design and you can go and check out different ones. But there is one uh, gig that looks really good. I actually used them before. It was very, very good. And uh, this uh, person, Rai Fee and Man, I will leave a link in the description for all the gigs that I'm going to recommend this, in this video if you want to check it out. But you know, it has a ton of reviews, very, very good uh, feedback from everybody. And you can see the type of, uh, he specializes in creating low content cover and also interiors too. And you can see that these are super professional, right? So you can go and outsource it to a professional like this. And rather than trying to do everything yourself, you know, you'll save time as well, which is a lot of times more important than money, right? And you can see that this is also a floral cover uh, that is very, very beautiful. So the cost for this, for the basic plan is $30, okay? So you get one cover for this and an interior too, so it's super cheap. So let's think about this, right? You spent $30 on a cover, so now you're $30 in the hole, which might be scary for you. But let's say that your average book royalty is $4, okay? So every time you make a sale, you make $4 profit, okay? So all you need is eight extra sale in the lifetime of the book to make back that $30 and start making profit. Do you think you can make eight extra sales if you have a nicer cover? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll make more than eight extra sales, right? You're probably gonna make way more than eight sales, you know, over time because you have a very attractive cover. So that is how you wanna think about it. It's not that, you know, you're just increasing expenses without no reason. Like you have to be able to view expenses like that. It's an investment now where you can make ROI, return on your investment and way more in the future by doing so. So that was mistake number one, not having an attractive cover. Mistake number two is similar, but it's, you know, not having a nice interior, right? It's a high quality interior that customers actually enjoy going through. So similar to cover, people are afraid to invest in proper graphic design skills or, you know, outsourcing it because they're scared of losing money. But imagine how much sales you're missing out on and actually losing by not investing in high quality content. So what pros do is same as cover. They invest in professionals who can create you know, very nice interiors, or they learn graphic designs themselves. And, you know, either way, they're creating a very high quality interior.
Now, in terms of where you can hire interior you know, designers, same place as before. You can go on Fiverr, you can go on Upwork, but basically you wanna treat this as a business, right? Don't treat this as a hobby where you can just whip out some cover and interior and you know, publish it and make money. You know, treat this as a business, invest in your business a little bit. It's not expensive, $30 here, right? The same as an interior, it's not expensive to make these low content books. And imagine that paying you back and so much more. All right, so let's actually take a look at the interior of this book. So you can see that it's you know not too bad and not too great. It's fairly simple, I would say, in terms of designs, right? The fonts, I feel like it doesn't really match. It's a little hard to read, I would say. Uh, so fairly simple prayer journal. Um, this one, I can't really look inside anyways. And this one inside here, uh, it looks much better, much cleaner, and a lot more designs here, right? A lot more images. And then now, you know, the journal part, it's uh, fairly simple, but it's clean. You know, it's very, very clean. And same as this one, let's take a look. Okay, now we have this, this book, uh, this journal belongs to Paige. And then the design is once again, very, very beautiful. So it doesn't have to be complicated. I mean, you know, it's a very simple design. People who understand graphic design, if you learn the skill, then you can make this on Canva if you really want to, uh, or you can once again outsource to someone and easily create something like this. So the fact that you can outsource cheaply to create a book, you know, or learn it yourself that makes a thousand dollars a day, $700 a day on average, is pretty incredible, but let me show you how you can outsource this step. So similar to book covers, but this time you're gonna search something like low content book interior on Fiverr, and there's gonna be a bunch of different options. But since this guy that I showed you had an option that included uh, book interior as well as a cover, I'll just show him to you once again. So this guy, not only does he create a book cover for you, he has book interiors as well. I actually used him for a coloring book recently, and it was, really good now obviously you have to give him very specific um, outline in terms of how you want the book to be because the last thing we want is you know them selling you a template page that was sold to somebody else as well because if you publish that then it'll be duplicate content right and that's a big issue with kdp so to avoid that what you want to do is to give them very specific instructions page one you want exactly this you know animals in the corner and you know this kind of prompt and this and that right page two you want this and so every single instruction you give them a very specific order and if they follow that then that is how you can kind of ensure that the page the content that you got is original you know so that is how you want to do it i've never made a low content cover or a low content interior myself i always outsource it doesn't cost a ton of money as you can see here and it has yielded me a lot more than i invested uh, into the actual production so how I make my books, I hire a graphic designer for cover and interior design. I hire a ghostwriter if the content requires text. So if I'm making like a guided journal prompts and those you know prompts actually are text that I need somebody to come up with, I don't do it myself. I just hire a ghostwriter to come up with a prompt, right? For coloring books, I hire an illustrator to make those you know illustrator pages. For puzzle books, if I'm making puzzle books, I use tools like BookBolt because it's very, very easy to generate puzzle books. And then I have the designer add extra designs around the puzzles. So if you guys want to check out BookBolt or any other tools, the link is in the description as well. Another tip is to price your book higher. So now that you're focusing on higher quality, you know, books, because the book is higher quality, you can actually price your book you know, higher and sell it at a increased price, which means you're gonna be making more royalties as well. So I never sell my books below $7.99, even for low content or especially for low content, right? Most of my books are $9.99 or higher. Even for low content, I try to get to like $9.99, $11.99, $12.99. And this allows me to make a higher royalty per sale. So if I'm making higher royalties, this allows me to spend more on Amazon ads and I still am profitable. A lot of people can't compete with, you know, people who are making more per sale in terms of Amazon ads because they can't afford to spend $2, $3 because that is more than their royalty per sale, right? But if you're making four, five, six dollars per royalty, then you can afford to spend up to four, five, six dollars and still be profitable. So that is exactly what you want. So if you're wondering what makes a book high quality, besides the fact that it has an attractive 
cover title you know beautiful interior besides those stuff right there's actually more to it what makes a book high quality is when it solves the customer's problem because people are buying books for a reason right they want to learn something or they want to be entertained either way you want to do proper customer research and ask yourself why are people buying books on this you know what are they looking to learn what are they looking to get out of this book and your book should exactly be the solution to the problem that you identified you can apply the same thing with low content a lot of times people they just want to play games or puzzles or you know be entertained that's fine you really want to make sure that what exactly are they looking for right when they're buying books on this and then make sure you put that in your book content so in conclusion you want to add as much value as possible in your book solve readers problems don't try to make the covers and interiors yourself if you don't have proper graphic design skills you can definitely practice this and you can definitely still make covers on canva that's very beautiful and very nice you just gotta go and practice don't just expect to to make sales by whipping out a cover on canva without putting in the time and trial and error make sure your book is high quality and also unique so that it stands out from your competition and finally it is better to make more money from few books then little bit from a lot of books okay so slow down focus on quality and you will be good to go so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did let me know by leaving a like and before you go if you want a completely free training on how i built a seven figure publishing business the link is in the description as well as all the tools and resources for publishing that i recommend also in the description below if you have any questions let me know in the comments subscribe if you haven't yet and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one